Hi friends, this is Bilal Haider and in this video I'll be talking about functions with parameters. Previously we have um, studied the function which were uh, not ha having any arguments but in this um, video I'll be talking about uh, the functions which have arguments uh, to pass and it can be useful in several ways so let me start making some function right here let's make a function which takes two numbers and sum both of numbers and return back um, the sum to uh, the function okay let's start making the function as the function will return us an integer type value so let's write in function you can call it any um, name you, uh, as you like okay as this function will be taking a two arguments the two numbers which um, will be of integer type so the arguments um, we write here like that this represents the first number and this represents the second number and whenever uh, we take argument uh, from the function um, we can use them straight away like we are uh, getting a number x and a number y right here we can um, introduce another variable here y sorry z and we set it to 0 and z equals x plus y and this particu particular uh, code will sum uh, the two values which were passed uh, into the function and this statement will um, add them together and that sum will be stored in this variable z so now we get our result in z so let's return our result um, back to the place where this function will be called so now we have uh, built that function which takes two parameters and both parameters are type integer and it takes mm, the values and sum them together stores those values in z and return that value back okay we can also um, write um, any type of uh, parameters here right uh, like double boolean string um, whatever uh, we wanted to okay but make sure <coughs> you use different variables for each of the uh, each of the um, um, parameter uh, so this and this uh, sorry this one and this one at the same place will be wrong so x1 we can write it x1 x2 and t okay so now let's go ahead and use this function and let's see um, what we get let's call this function uh, in in it in it initialization function let's introduce a variable int and let's call this variable z as we can use uh, the z variable here because uh, the variable z right here has the local scope and it can be seen only inside this function so it can be used only inside this function and this z variables belongs to this function <coughs> only so this z and the z below written in the other function are different so let's um, call our function 
and write any two numbers three four like that and <clears throat> as you know as I have told you right um, right now that this function takes two um, integer type values so we have um, we are passing these two values right here and when we will pass these two values uh, to this function um, the control uh, will pass those values um, like the first value will be equal to x and the second value will be equal to y and then uh, this <coughs> this uh, piece of code will be executed and we will return um, this z variable whatever the value it contains so to get the, that uh, return value we have to <coughs> set this function equals to some integer variable because this function will be returning an integer variable and that must be stored in an integer type variable <coughs> so here we have written um, that variable now let's go ahead and alert it and let's see what we get so here we get 7 and that's indeed the <coughs> correct answer because 3 plus 4 equals 7 and by making functions it helps it helps us to uh, use them as frequently as much we want like we can also um, make this function for other variables and let's um, make some more variables like t and y let's set y equals function and two integer values right here and also t equals function and some integer values inside it 56 and 23 let's alert um, all the values together to see um, z and y and t let's compile it and see here you see the first um, z equals 7 and the second variable equals 68 and the third variable equals 79 and <coughs> now you can um, clearly see that functions are um, very important and they can be used in various ways uh, um, when doing expert advisor programming for example if we make a by a function which places a byte order and we have several conditions based on some candlestick patterns so whenever some pattern is um, confirmed we can call that by function right here and that will place uh, a by um, function at, at that moment okay so that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching